Okay, so we're going to start by applying a primer to the eye and I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion today. So once that's done, I'm going in with a, a new eyeshadow that I purchased. Now, um, this is L'Oreal Hip and it's their um, gold and purple duo. Going in with the very um, yellow gold in this, um, this duo. And I'm mixing it with a little bit of my gold um, mark. That's this one here. Now this is a very beige tone mark. If you don't have this color, don't fret. You can actually, um, Revlon has one very similar to it in their um, khaki, um, in their khaki quad. It's sort of like a beige-ish gold, not a very yellow gold. So I'm, so I'm just gonna pat that onto the lid. And you don't want to take it up past the crease of the eye and just sweep it into the inner corner, the tear duct. Good. So you want to stop about three quarters of the way out and just sort of pat it in. Right. So the next color that I'm going to use for my green is actually a MAC and a Humid. That's this color. It's sort of a rich, um, deep sort of hunter green. You can again, you can substitute um, with any green that would probably match um, what you're wearing. Or pat this along the last quarter that we've left out on the lid. Just pat it on. And what you want to do is sort of round it in. Do not take it higher than the crease, please. And you just want to sweep it in just a little. Right, you want to just wipe off your same brush. And you can just blend where those two colors meet in the middle. Um, so what we're going to do again, clean off your same brush. You can sort of um, blend out the top part of the green here. Good. So I'm going to go in all... Um, any sort of a matte nude color like this, it doesn't matter what brand, it, it just needs to be matte. And I'm going just under the brow bone with that color and bringing it all the way down into the table. And this is going to be my blending color. So as I blend that in, I'm bringing it down into that green just a little bit and softening up that edge. It. so that's what it should look like and I use to sort of smoke it out or give a little bit of depth to this color in the crease it's sort of a reddish brown and I'm gonna mix these two this is my coastal scents um, my 42 color matte double stack palette again you can use anything um, that has the same sort of a reddish brown tone and most browns are red browns you just don't want to use anything that's too dark and I'm going with a Sigma um, 217 and that's because it's sort of a stiff um, brush that you can use to blend out there. Nothing too fluffy to take the color all over the place. And you want to stick that in into your crease and just work it back and forth to blend out some of that um, green. And so you see how it automatically gives it a nice smokiness there without using black. Black would have been way too harsh. Good, so that's about it. Um, we are then going into our eyeliner. Now I'm using a regular um, pencil liner on the lower lash line. And I am going to be, uh, because this look is so quick and it's so simple, I thought I would have 
um, I would try a different style of um, liner to sort of jazz it up. Now we line our waterline and then we also want to line the tight line which is just above here. You don't have to if you don't want to but it sort of intensifies the lash line. Once that's done, um, what I'm going to do is going with my um, any sort of a black gel liner or you could even use um, one of those felt tip ones if you feel more comfortable using that one. And I'm going with a, with a very thin brush. I'm just picking up a little bit of that gel liner. And I'm going to line my lash line, my top lash line, slightly winging it out on the outer edge. I'm not sure if you can see that here. Let me see if I can get a little closer. And so you always want to sort of, um, not tug, but sort of tight, um, stretch out the lid. It gives you the best line. And you want to do this line as thin as, as thin as possible. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going in with the same eyeliner brush. Now you can actually skip this step if you think that it's a bit uh, much or if you think that it's a bit too, um, too risky for you to do. But it looks really nice. I'm just dipping back a little bit of that um, liner and I'm going just under the lashes right about here. And I'm, I'm drawing a line there. Don't worry about making mistakes. It's fine. It's something that can be cleaned up. And I'm just creating a double wing. You don't want them to connect at the end. what it should look like and you want to be sure that they're not connecting um the both the lower and upper wings should be separate there should be like a little bit of a space between them this is what it looks like so that's it for the eyes i'm just going to add um mascara and this is my grow lashes i absolutely love it it's by revlon of course um, I am going to do a review on this product so you can look forward to it. It's going to be, there's going to be a link right here um, that you can click um, to see how this stacks up against um, other mascaras. So I'm going to just apply my mascara and I'm going to come back. I've already gone and applied my mascara. And for the cheeks, I've used Sasha's Next to Natural. It's a very sort of natural um, orange-ish um, color because we're so bold on the eyes we want to keep it very simple on the cheeks and I've just used it along the cheekbone just a little bit on the, um, the tops of my cheeks and for my lips I've lined with a burgundy liner and I've used a new lipstick that I got it's NYX and it's iced honey and it's a gorgeous um, sort of um, nude color but there's a little bit of a metallic um, sheen to it so it's not just like a flat nude color and that's all i have on just remember to be a little um a little careful with the nyx lipstick because they're so creamy you don't want to oversaturate your lips with color so you just want to sort of pat the color on and that's it this is the finished look i hope you like it please, please stay tuned for face